It brings back bittersweet thoughts. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 more urban legends that turned out to be true. I don't know what's true and what's not true. For this list, we'll be looking at myths and legends that have a little more truth to them than we first realized. Are there any urban legends from your area that you know to be true? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. The Dog Boy of Quitman. The simplicity of this tale is what makes it so frightening. In the 50s and 60s, a couple who had struggled to conceive finally had a baby boy named Gerald Bettis. In his early childhood, there were several reports of his cruelty and stubbornness. But this goes far beyond behavioral issues. With time, he began abusing cats and dogs. As he fully matured, he used his size to intimidate and imprison his elderly parents in their own home. When his abuse had caught the attention of authorities, he was placed in jail and passed away. As the legend tells, the spirit of Bettis lurks around the small Arkansas community. Witnesses have reported that this apparition resembles the victimized dogs from his youth. Number 19. Stairway of Mayhem In your childhood, you'd likely have been scared out of your mind at the prospect of being gobbled up by escalators. <laughs> Children have shared terrifying stories of man-eating escalators to impress their peers, but the scary stories seem to be more of a cautionary tale than a purely made-up legend to scare kids. There have been several reports of injuries and fatalities from riding these metal staircases. Sometimes an article of clothing gets caught in the grate. Phil! Phil, my coat is stuck. Who's Phil? No, not now. Seriously, oh. my coat is oh, stuck. Oh, honey, take off your coat! Other times, people lose their balance and fall several feet. It's no wonder that some folks hesitate to use these metal stairs. So next time you board an escalator, please proceed with caution. Number 18. He's in the walls. After a long day, nothing can beat the sheer comfort of being at home. But what if you sensed that you weren't really alone? The story of the man hiding within the walls has been dramatized and shared as a spooky myth. But in the 80s, a man named Daniel LaPlante allegedly had a crush on a young woman. When she and her sister tried to have a seance, they heard eerie knocking around the house with bizarre messages. It appeared that LaPlante had been hiding in the house's secret crawl space, tormenting the object of his obsession. But that's not the only case. A simple Google search will show several instances of people secretly living in others' homes. Number 17. Halloween Hangman during this spine-chilling holiday, mind-blowing decorations are essential. Each display sets out to outscare or outgore the last. But what if a Halloween prop seemed too convincing to be fake? This legend generally follows a performer who attempts to shock the audience by pretending to hang himself. But he tragically takes his own life by accident. Real-life misfortunes have contributed to the spread of this legend. In 1990, a teen passed away attempting to do this same act. A similar instance occurred at a haunted house in 2001. Halloween is supposed to be a time for cheeky, spooky fun. But when the line between fiction and reality is blurred, the consequences can be horrifying. Number 16. The Uncanny Doll The Japanese doll named Okiku certainly gives Annabelle a run for her money. But the true story is just as tragic. In the early 20th century, a young boy gifted his little sister a doll. She and the doll were inseparable until she tragically passed away from illness. As a tradition of memoriam, her family erected a shrine in her honor and placed her doll there as well. But over time, they claim that the doll's hair had been growing. The family was convinced that the spirit of their child had possessed her favorite toy. They gave the doll to a local temple where it currently resides. Her hair has reportedly reached past her knees, despite the priest's efforts to keep it trimmed. Number 15. Aliens in New Mexico I mean, this is part of American culture. It is something that means a lot to a lot of people, and it means very different things to millions of people. Since its inception, this phenomenon seems to have gotten a little more validity. In the 1930s, rumors of a secret military base kept conspiracy theorists preoccupied. 
To them, there was a multi-level building buried underground that contained experiments on extraterrestrials. There have been revelations in Congress where individuals allege an actual alien conspiracy, but no hard evidence was offered. Extraterrestrial life. You're right, Jerry. The people are gonna love it. However, in the 1980s, there were reports of everyone's favorite alien, E.T., found buried in New Mexico, technically speaking. After an effort to create a video game based on the film disappointed fans, Atari allegedly dumped unsold copies in a landfill. This is far from the fabled government complex, but in this case, the truth is sillier than fiction. Number 14. Forbidden Garments In horror movies, we've seen villains use human remains to make a bevy of household items. Lampshades, coats, tools, and several other items were repurposed in a dark fashion. This legend has more real-world truth than one would think. In the late 19th century, a frontier outlaw named Big Nose George was caught and executed. His remains were sent to a tannery where his skin was turned into a pair of shoes. Who would conceive of such a thing? Well, a Wyoming doctor by the name of John Osborne was the recipient of these heinous shoes. If this story wasn't bizarre enough, he went on to become the first Democratic governor of Wyoming. The shoes are currently on display in a Wyoming museum. Number 13. The Mysterious Stain The picturesque town of Bucksport, Maine has an intriguing tourist attraction. The tomb of the town's founder, Jonathan Buck, lies in the cemetery with a creepy characteristic. There's a stain shaped like the leg of a woman that will not go away. No matter how many times his descendants have had the stain removed, it reappears. It goes on to say that they somehow removed the image of the leg and it reappeared. They removed the stone entirely, replaced it with a new stone, and the leg appeared exactly as before. The legend tells of a witch who was burned at the stake and cursed Buck shortly before she died. People started believing the story that Jonathan Buck had condemned this woman to burn at the stake and that as she was dying, her leg supposedly fell off, and she pointed that out to him and said that hey, an image of my leg will appear on your gravestone, and a curse will affect all of your family and your descendants. Sounds more like an inconvenience than a curse, but it's still bothersome hundreds of years later. Details of the story differ, but historians claim that no executions were carried out during the witch trials. But if you're ever in Maine and feel confident, feel free to check it out. Number 12. Underground Cities For the past several decades, rumors of secret subterranean towns have been a hot topic for conspiracy theorists. Locations like the Denver Airport have been suspected of housing covert meetings of the New World Order. Exactly! Have you heard about the horse? Ugh. But in reality, these structures are more likely than you'd think. In Beijing, China, there exists a bomb shelter that's said to be capable of accommodating millions of people for several months. This project has schools, water wells, and even a roller skating rink. When it was opened for tourism, visitors described the tunnels as genuinely eerie. There's also a network of underground tunnels in Turkey that runs roughly 60 meters deep. No apocalyptic meetings are held in these structures, but it's a fascinating topic nonetheless. Number 11. What's that smell? When we check into a hotel room, we like to think that there will be some respite from our travels. The amenities are wonderful, and if you're lucky, the toiletries are fully stocked. But what if there's a lingering scent of a rotting corpse? The legend about bodies hidden in hotel rooms has developed from real-life incidents. In 2003, a man checked into a hotel room and complained to management about an awful odor. After a few days and likely several showers, the man couldn't bear the stench and checked out. When the cleaning crew did their rounds, they discovered a body stuffed into the room's mattress. There have been other similar cases that highlight the transient nature of hotels and the people who frequent them. Number 10. Playing Cards Fans of creepypasta are well aware of the Alice killings. For the uninitiated, they were a series of crimes in Japan, 
the culprit would leave a playing card next to the victim's bodies with the name Alice written in blood. But this real-life crime bears an eerie resemblance to the online horror story. In 2003, Alfredo Galán Sotillo terrorized the streets of Madrid, Spain. He would leave playing cards next to the bodies of his victims. The media appropriately dubbed him the playing card killer. It's alleged that seeing his nickname in the newspapers encouraged him to continue his horrific rampage. He embraced immediately this story of the playing cards, uh, took uh, a set of playing cards and started uh, leaving these uh, playing cards uh, close to the other victims. He eventually turned himself in and claimed that the playing cards were more of an afterthought after seeing the detail depicted in the news. Number 9. Familiar Cadavers Some folks elect to have their bodies donated to science in the event of their passing. But what happens in the name of science is rarely confirmed to them. We have a chance here, Lionel, to find out why he was the way he was. Was it something he was born with? Maybe there was some sp small tumor somewhere? Well, I think each of us has our own idea about why Jeff was the way he was, don't we? In some rare cases, it's been alleged that some medical students have dissected former acquaintances. There was an incident in 1982 at the University of Alabama where a student recognized one of the cadavers. In fact, she recognized it as the body of her great aunt. She promptly received a replacement. The history of medical education regarding cadavers was initially plagued with ethical dilemmas. In the 18th and 19th centuries, some had to resort to grave robbing to secure specimens to dissect. Number 8. Le Léon Also known as the Ghost of Molin, this legendary figure was described as a humanoid that lurked on the outskirts of a Swiss village. The description of this entity sounds like it was ripped straight out of Scooby-Doo. <coughs> Dressed in a cloak, gas mask, and coveralls, it eluded confirmation for decades. But in 2013, a newspaper published an alleged photo of Le Leon. The image went viral and the ghost of Malheur was not happy about it. A note was found in the forest that was ominously titled, Death Certificate and Testament of the Ghost of Malheur. The letter detailed annoyance with the unwanted attention. Sightings of Le Leon have stopped since then, and if it's a real person, we hope they're okay. Number 7. The North Pond Hermit In these modern times, we're inundated with social media, emails, and a million different things competing for our attention. It may feel like we just want to run for the hills in hopes of escaping. In the area surrounding the Belgrade Lakes of Maine, folks would share campfire stories about an enigmatic person who would burglarize lodges for supplies. Peanut butter, you love peanut butter. Didn't like tuna fish, you never take the tuna fish. Although he was never violent, his mystery filled the imagination of campers. In 2013, Christopher Thomas Knight was arrested following 27 years of living alone in the forest. He subsided on foraged supplies and whatever he could get his hands on after breaking into cabins. When asked about his solitude, he said he simply wanted freedom. After a brief jail sentence, he's living a quiet life. Number 6. Polybius This legend perfectly captures the distrust that surrounded technology during the 80s. Around this time, an arcade game appeared in several regions surrounding Portland, Oregon. It was a massive hit. Folks quickly developed an addiction and disputed over who would go next. Well, damn. I gotta play it then! There would be further rumors of men in black. That part's true. There was a, a lot of illegal activity in arcades that was being monitored by not only government and federal agencies, but by local police. They would allegedly collect data from this game to study how it affected the players' minds. Unsurprisingly, these games vanished after a month. The first record of this game didn't appear until decades later, and it's unlikely that it ever existed. However, there were claims of FBI raids in Portland during that same time period. But they weren't trying to brainwash teens, they were investigating arcade owners for illegal gambling. Number 5. The Red Room The truth behind this contemporary folklore is much more grim than one would expect. The Red Room was an Adobe Flash horror animation that existed on the hosting service Geosites. It tells the story of a young boy who was cursed by a pop-up on his computer. The curse proceeds to do what curses do, and the boy meets his end. 
However, in 2004, this animation gained infamy. A schoolgirl brutally attacked her classmate. She allegedly had the cursed website bookmarked on her computer at the time of the murder. Perhaps the most chilling part of this case is that, regardless of what you believe of curses, the Red Room was involved. Here, the line between fact and legend is dismally blurred. Number 4. Hotel Hell In the coastal county of Manitowoc, Wisconsin, there lies a decrepit building that used to be called the Maribel Caves Hotel. In its heyday, it was a travel destination for a high-luxury clientele. But there was a sinister side to this premium travel destination. The building was allegedly taken over by organized crime when the business went under. As legend has it, the ghosts and spirits still haunt the grounds. Some have even claimed that the building used to stand over a portal to hell. There's an old dare that if you stick around long enough, you could see a doorway to the devil open up at the hotel. The building was partially destroyed thanks to a tornado in 2013. Let's hope that that didn't awaken any ancient demonic spirits. It was really quite a, quite a landmark in its day. Number 3. The House Under the Lake There's something ominous about a large body of water. We never know what may be lurking in that dark abyss. This small Connecticut community has reported strange goings-on around one lake in particular. In the late 19th century, a family enjoyed life in their house that overlooked Gardner Lake. Over time, they would be happier with the view from the other side of the lake. That's when a mostly brilliant plan was hatched. In the middle of winter, they contracted someone to move the house across the ice once the lake had frozen over. The house fell through and sunk into the lake's icy depths. We guess we'll never know if the grass is greener on the other side of that frozen pond. Number 2. The Woman in Black in this Appalachian legend, a mysterious woman would appear to men who had done misdeeds such as adultery. The Phantom would use several different tactics to set these men straight, or else they'd suffer dire consequences. But in more recent years, a woman cloaked in black garments caught national attention. Reports of this mystifying woman dominated social media, and people would try to predict where they'd find her next. She was eventually identified as a military veteran who had recently shaved her head. According to her brother, she suddenly started traveling south to her hometown. When asked, she says she wishes for people to mind their business. Maybe we should take her advice. When you see a woman like this, it gives you hope and it makes you feel good. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 1. Don't eat the candy. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Arguably the best part of Halloween is stopping by your neighbor's houses to collect delicious treats. Surely nobody would dare to tamper with that sacred tradition, right? There's been massive moral panic over the rumors of drugged Halloween candy over the past several decades. Parents are rightfully weary of allowing their children to accept sweets from strangers. Their fears aren't totally unfounded. In 1959, a dentist in California allegedly gave out candy laced with laxatives to several trick-or-treaters. The next decade, a woman reportedly gave children arsenic traps and steel wool. Although none of these instances resulted in fatalities, they still serve as a strong reminder to proceed with caution with strangers, especially during All Hallows Eve. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.